I think one of the things that people don't understand fully about the civil rights movement is the extent to which it was a national movement. So this was a movement that happened in Buffalo, not just in Little Rock or not just in Mississippi. UB was known as the Berkeley of the East. There was a lot of activism going on, fighting for different causes, uh, against the war, civil rights. And there comes a time when one must take a position that is neither safe, nor politic, nor popular. We were tasked with finding information about civil rights leaders that came to speak at UB in the 60s and 70s and uncovering clues about what it was like to be there that day. It was electrifying. I was amazed at King because his voice was booming and I'm sitting here watching greatness and listening to greatness. Here to speak to us now from the Fillmore Room in the University of Buffalo is Cesar Chavez. We gotta be able to go back to farm workers and say, look, the majority of the people in this country want you to have a union. They want you to be free men. They were impressed by what they saw young students, students as young as they, doing, being very in tune, very connected with the political moment, and being so bold as to invite these luminaries. White people in this country, white working people, white students, are going to have to begin to realize that racism is not something which affects black people and other people of color alone. She was black and a woman and a communist, and everywhere she went, she faced oppression, but she just kept fighting through that. When Shirley Chisholm came to visit University at Buffalo, she had a large audience that was mostly people of color. She had ran in 1972 as a presidential candidate against Nixon, and though she lost, she knew that it was a way for her to challenge the ideas of what people saw as the face of American politics. The legacy of the students' work is that their finds, their research finds, will be collected in the university archives, which means they'll be part of the historical record and perhaps help us delve even a bit deeper into this particular chapter of civil rights history.